It's a virus that affects one in five Americans, but gets relatively little public attention. Herpes has been called a silent epidemic thanks largely to the stigma that surrounds a sexually transmitted disease. And while scientists have been working on a vaccine for decades, a successful one has yet to surface. Dr. William Halford, an immunologist who has devoted his career to developing a herpes vaccine, joins us now. Good morning, Dr. Halford. Good morning, Mark. What makes herpes such a difficult disease to fight? Um, I mean, we have drugs to treat it. It's a chronic infection, though. It's lifelong. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing we face is that, you know, this should be a vaccine-preventable disease. Um, but a lot of people aren't aware how big of a deal it is. When you say how big of a deal it is, what do you mean? Well, what I mean is about 500 million people worldwide are infected with this virus. So there's a very large base of people out there able to transmit it. Um, and about 40 million of those people suffer with a chronic disease. Um, because of the stigma associated with the infection, most people don't talk about it. Um, so people that are uninfected assume that it's really not going on or it's not very prevalent. But for people that have it, it uh, can be really, whatever, it can devastate their lives. It basically, uh, it cuts into people's ability to have um, sexual relationships. And, uh, you know, just like Viagra is a big deal for helping people have sexual relationships, herpes is like anti-Viagra. And it really, uh, it isolates people. Wow. What are the major roadblocks that stand in the way of actually developing the vaccine? Um, for the last 30 or 40 years, uh, vaccine development is focused on a specific type of approach called a subunit vaccine. We've been trying to make a lot of vaccines with that approach. Um, and basically for herpes, the approach has not worked. Um, we've been testing that approach for about 30 years, and it keeps failing. Um, and so it's what a lot of my research is about is looking at a different approach uh, making rationally engineered live vaccines that I think offer a real hope to uh, end the general herpes epidemic. Absolutely. What are you and your team working on right now, uh, and what are some of the challenges that you may be facing? Um, so funding is a big issue. Um, we have a lot of data that our approach works about 100 times better than the subunit vaccine approach. Um, we've done a lot of preclinical studies in animals, uh, mice and guinea pigs. Um, and what we're trying to do is put together um, a path forward for a human clinical trial of this vaccine. Wow. And if you had to set a timetable, like, for example, when people talk about HIV AIDS, they say we could be five years away, we could be 10 years away uh, from something radically uh, transformative in terms of the, the medical landscape. Are we that close with herpes? Um, I think if I could take the vaccine approach that I have forward, I think we would have... A, a way of ending general herpes. I mean, I think it's that cut and dry. Uh, you know, to give you an analogy, the um, chickenpox vaccine developed in Japan um, is the same type of vaccine as what I'm developing for HSV2, a very similar virus. And the chickenpox vaccine has been uh, wildly successful. Um, so I think if we do the same thing with HSV2, we'll be equally successful.